All right, guys, I'm sitting out here in my backyard. This is gonna be a really, really quick video, but I just got introduced to this and I want to introduce you to this. My friends over at MFJ just sent me uh, one of the first, this is called the Zygu X5105. I don't know if I'm excited about this yet, but I definitely am intrigued from what I've seen. I've just got this thing. I really haven't had a chance to play with it very much, but it does have some very, very cool built-in features here uh, that I think are at least worth mentioning before we, uh, <laughs> before I take it on the road uh, to Quartzsite and play with the thing. Yes, MFJ wants this thing back. It is, uh, it is worth a few pennies, but uh, I'm gonna work on them. Maybe we can get them to give this one away at say eh, 10,000 subscribers. I don't know. If you are interested in the Zygu X5105, uh, I will provide a link below and that'll be on uh, MFJ's website and possibly, uh, possibly Amazon. You can uh, read any reviews that are up there and learn more about this radio. Uh, this thing is pretty well brand new. So, uh, hey, let's just dive right into the thing right now. So this is the Zygu 5105, uh, 160 through six meters QRP. That is five watts only. Despite the minimalist look it has here, uh, it does have a, quite a few features. It's got a onboard PTT button and a mic, uh, volume up and down, band up and down. On the left side of the case, you have your uh, antenna connection, which is a BNC. You have an IF out, a speaker or headphone out, and the uh, charging port. On the other side of the radio, you have a modular mic uh, input, a CIV, an ATU uh, for another uh, tuner or an amp, and a key jack as well as an accessory port. Cooling fins on the uh, bottom of the rig help uh, contain the heat from the 5000 milliamp lithium ion battery and the uh, foot pegs there fit in nice and tight or kind of spring loaded and don't take any adjustments whatsoever to make them work right. Looks alone only goes so far so let's crank this puppy up and uh, see what's inside. So this is a black and white monochrome screen but it is uh, nice and bright easy to maneuver around. Using the band buttons on the top uh, real easy. To, uh, to switch from band to band. And like I said before, uh, you've got 160 through six meters on this thing. Volume control is also on the top and it does get nice and loud. So it's uh, fairly easy to hear. I haven't tried it in a real uh, high noise area. So don't ask me about that yet. The left and right arrow keys on the front of the radio are where you make your uh, tuning adjustments. You can go all the way from uh, big, big numbers where you're tuning between different bands all the way down to those minute, minuscule little microaggressions that we use in CW and PSK. A short press of the menu button uh, activates the menu system on the bottom of the radio and you just turn the main dial to adjust those. Filtering is all built in and included with the uh, X5105 so you can run everything from your single sideband operations down to uh, um, CW without a problem or adding any other filters. One of the very cool things about the uh, 5105 is the ability to do an SWR sweep. Now, 
What this does is it takes a portion of the band that you're operating on and it gives you a complete SWR sweep and shows you exactly what the SWR is doing at those certain points of the band. Zooming back out to the 10,000 foot view, the 5105 is a full SDR transceiver. It is capable of all the new SDR technology and is upgradable in firmware. What the 5105 is not is a 100 watt fully capable uh, transceiver that you're going to use on your daily basis as your main rig. Now before all you, the glass is half empty guys, start screaming that uh, this thing is $700 and wow, I could go buy an FT817 uh, for that. Think about this. Your FT817 is a 30 year old radio. It has had virtually no updates in 30 years. Um, this is a full SDR radio and as such, it can be completely changed with the right of a software. At this point in time, I am not uh, saying that this thing is a great radio or it's a crappy radio. I'm saying that it is an interesting looking radio and I'm going to reserve my judgment on the X5105 until after I've had a chance to play with it and see how it performs in the field. On its surface, the fit and finish on this thing is really, really nice. Very, very, uh, very tight. Um, clean lines on it. I really like it. Everything is, uh, everything is protected. You don't have um, both sides. All the controls are recessed. And I'll turn the volume down. All the controls are recessed. It uses a standard BNC connector and a modular mic plug uh, with an included microphone. Anyway, I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to introduce you to this thing really quickly. This is by no means a review. This is a quick introduction of, hey, what's coming down the pike and what's kind of getting out there right now. Anyway, guys, hey, if you like this video, please, Give me the thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification i'll let you know uh, when i am posting new videos i'll see you from quartzite or shortly thereafter i'm bob k6uda and i'm out of here seven three my friends